Hi, this is Kim and I am a creative design team member for Country Craft Creations and I would like to show you my design team haul for this month and so I'm going to be making some tags and a birthday box and a little mini album to put inside of it and so I want you to see the supplies I'll be using before I get started. Um, again, this is for Country Craft Creations and she does have an online store. Um, fast shipping, super um, customer service, I'll have nothing but positive wonderful things to say. Um, she does have a tab on the website that's Tim Holtz and so she sent me the tiny attacher um, which was nice because I don't have that and so I plan on using that on a tag card that I'm going to be making um, to attach the seam binding at the top. Speaking of seam binding she carries every color that you can imagine plus I have some ribbon here that's a little bit different. Um, it's really fun. It's got the circles on it and I know it comes in different colors also. Um, the collection is by Authentique and it's called Celebrate. And let me double check. Oh, it's called Party. Sorry. Uh, I saw the word Celebrate here. Uh, it's called Party. And I have the 6x6 pad. I have the um, cutouts here. And I have the paper collection. So the 6x6, six six, I'll just kind of... Same kind of designs, just smaller, obviously. Um, it's the main paper pack I'm sure you're interested in, so let's get to that right away. Um, the sticker collection is the first thing you're going to see here, and so many cute things to choose from. The Not only the words, but the pictures. I like the bright colors. It's a lot of pinks and blues. There's a, a accent color of um, black in there, so the base pages I use will probably be with black paper, but that is really super cute. Um, the paper collection uh, is by Authentique, like I said, and so they have a spectrum line of paper that matches their paper line, so you can get that as kind of like filler paper, um, and it's a little bit more subdued, so it kind of helps when you have a really wild page of paper uh, design to put this near it or under um, some of the paper. So um, I have it in pink, and then there's two different patterns, uh, one on the front and one on the back. Oh, I love this. Um, this is called Caribbean. That is an awesome color. And it matches perfect. So the cut aparts are to die for. <laughs> um, super cute. I like the vintage feel. The 50s, 60s feel to it. What does this say? It's magic. The second I put it on, it becomes a party dress. Uh, <laughs> is today your birthday or am I partying for no reason? So they're really cute and playful. And on the other side, then you have a flower pattern. So I hope to use a lot of these cut aparts. Now that was the kind of the female version, and then they have a male version for the cut aparts also. So if, whether you're celebrating a female birthday or a uh, male birthday, life is a party, dress like it. Perfection up there, age to perfection. I wish common sense was more common. Oh my gosh, isn't that the truth? Especially being since the man card. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the party don't start till I walk in. Just really fun and playful. And then on the back is a really cool plaid. They usually have a collage sheet, which is always one of my favorites. And so here it is in this, with the music in the background and some cute pictures to go with it and like advertisements. And on the other side is um, black with white circles. Um, this one has party things like um, balloons, champagne glasses, and then like music notes, real playful colors. And on the back is a pink with the black polka dot. I really like that one. Balloons, can't have a party without balloons. And on the other side is kind of a green color with like hashtag symbols. Or if you're old like me, the pound sign. And... This one is really adorable. It's cakes and ice cream. And that is really cute paper. And then we have that kind of Caribbean blue on the other side. There is um, a little girl, uh, girl on the bottom with holding a cake with a little dog in the corner. Banners up on top. And then there's the male version on the other side. 
So this should be really fun to work with. Something different than what I'm used to. Work. Well, no, I can't say that anymore because now I work with a variety of different papers and I've kind of branched out a little bit. So it's kind of nice going to the website and seeing all the different lines of paper and giving each one a, a, a shot. So not only do I feel like I'm shabby chic and vintage, but I can also be playful and fun like uh, the paper I have today. So stay tuned and I will show you the first project I'm going to make with that paper line. Hello everybody and thanks for coming to my channel. This is Kim and I'm from CountryCraftCreations.com. Uh, I am a creative design team member and I will be working on a project using Authentique's paper line called Party. Um, I'm going to be making a birthday box along with an album to fit inside of it. Uh, I'm going to be using both the 6x6 paper pad and the 12x12 paper pad. Um, I already made a card um, that I am going to use with this gift and now I'm ready to make the actual gift so or the party box so what I was thinking was if you're in a big hurry for a, a gift and you don't always have time to create the box from scratch uh, sometimes you need a fast fix and so I went to the dollar store and I found a box that I thought would be the perfect size for this the box that I wanted to make and so a buck I can handle that um, I am gonna have to do a little bit of work with it and that's okay um, there was a, some glitter on the top and I tried to use a um, I used sandpaper and trying to, to get some off so that I can adhere paper a little bit easier but as I look at the edges you're gonna I don't want you to see the um, color come through and I didn't really feel like doing the binding strips on the outside of everything because that's not really a time saver um, but I did think that I would go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and paint um, with acrylic paint the edges so that when I do put my paper on you cannot see the colors come through like I don't want to see the black and white stripes so I believe this box is five and three-fourths and five by five and three-fourths let me see here I'm not hundred percent sure yep it's a five and three-fourths inch cube uh, let me just double check uh, the height might not be hold on Nope, the height is only about five and a fourth without the lid on. And let's see if it makes the difference with the lid on. Nope, still five and a fourth. So it's five and three fourths by five and three fourths by five and a fourth. So to me, that's going to be the perfect size for just a small album. So not only was I thinking about altering the box then, I thought I need something to give it some pizzazz. And so I happen to have a little party hat and it's the perfect size for this box. And I'm going to use this as a base or even a pattern to use the um, paper line and I'm going to be putting the hat on top of the box and decorating it and altering it so that it'll give it some you know excitement and it'll be adorable I think especially with this paper so my first step then is going to be to paint the edges of my box and then I'll start cutting paper for the box for both the inside and the outside um, the color on the inside is actually okay with my paper line or the paper I'm going to use because there's actually a color that's very similar um, but I'm going to go ahead and use paper anyway just because I think it'll look nicer so let me go ahead and prep the box and then I'll start moving on to the next steps and share with you the dimensions I'm going to use for the paper um, and show you how I'm going to wrap the hat and alter it I'm thinking uh, lace and frilly stuff and buttons on the hat and maybe something coming out of the top of the hat I don't know I don't I never have it planned in my head ahead of time I just kind of am one of those people who I get started and I just go with it um, if I plan too much it just never seems to turn out the way I want it anyway so sometimes spur of the moment and working on the fly is what's best so all right let me paint the edges and then we'll keep going all right, I have my box on the black all around the edges. It doesn't have to be perfect on the inside because that's going to be covered with paper. Um, I have noticed that when you use acrylic, it does scratch a little bit, so you might have to do some touch-ups once you're done. Um, I have chosen the um, like fuchsia with black polka dots for the top uh, of the box lid and the inside. And you know, I tried five and three fourths by five and three fourths, and that just was a hair, just a hair too big. So I knocked it down just by a sixteenth and so I went five and eleven sixteenths by five and eleven sixteenths and I did two of those five and eleven sixteenths is that blurry uh, that is blurry hold on I will try and make it better so 
So if you want to write this down for later, come on, there we go. Can you see that? 5 and 11 sixteenths by 5 and 11 sixteenths. And I did two, one for the top and one for the inside here. So I'm just going to, uh, I used my Tim Holtz black soot and I went around the edges of my paper on all of them. I always go around the edge to get rid of that white that shows through. So I've done some of that off camera just to make things go a little bit faster. So I'll be using the art glitter glue. Um, it is... I think I need to clean my cap. Uh, it is the best glue out there ever. Um, I was a score tape person for everything. And I would use the tape runner. And I just... I don't think that's clean. Um, I just am a total convert now. <laughs> it uh, lasts longer. It's very strong. It's durable. So anyway, that's what I use. Uh, we do... Uh, Tammy at Country Craft Creations does sell this. If you get a certain size bottle, and I don't remember which one it is, uh, you, she does include a fine tip with it so that you don't have to purchase that separate, but I don't remember what size bottle. And I use the silver fine tip all the time. That's I very rarely go without it. Only if my lid gets clogged, and that's kind of what I feel like is happening now. I've used it over and over so many times I just need to clean it. Well, let's hope that does the trick. I can see it, but, but it's on there. And I just want to center this. You do have just a little bit of time if it's not on there perfect. I'm going to smooth it down. Um, I have some of these, I don't know, I think my mom used to use them with wallpapering. What do you call these? Not a spackle. Um, it's just a spatula of some sort. I think I got them at Home Depot. So you can use one of those to uh, press down to make sure it's on real firm. Um, you can use a roller. I have one of those too. Uh, I also use my uh, Teflon uh, bone folder. This is the wide one, obviously. So I just want to make sure that that's on real well, especially along the edges. So I just kind of feel the edges. All right. So there's the top. I'm going to do the same thing on the inside. Now you probably will see a little bit of this color. Now it's not. Now it's blurry. Mm, sorry. Uh, you'll, you might see a little bit of this turquoisey color coming through on the edges, but that's okay with me. It's on the inside, and if I center it, it should be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the... Okay, i got to get this clean. I want a steady flow and not just a few drops here and there. All right. There we go. Oh my gosh, I say that and then it... I'm getting irritated. Alright, it's coming off. I need to wash it. I'll just use... You just have to be careful because you are going to get a lot thicker. I might have to use my finger to kind of spread it out. So it's not globby. sure that lays down real well. Smooth it out. And we are also going to put this color paper along the sides, both on the inside and the outside. So it's nice and finished. The weight of the paper just makes it stronger also. And while I have it turned this way, I might as well do the inside. So I cut eight of these. 
Now, you know, it's going to depend on the box you use too, but I cut mine at three fourths by five and three fourths, and I cut eight of them. And you just, you know, once you cut them, you might just want to set it in there and see if that's the right, as long as you don't have any thing coming over the top here. Mine three fourths worked perfectly. Now this could be tricky without the fine tip. And I inked the edges of those also. Turn it sideways here. And if you have any glue come through, just get your dry wet wipe, dab it off. It does dry clear though, so that's kind of nice. And I'll just keep doing the inside. And like I said, I'm just kind of flattening this out because usually when it's the fine tip, you don't have to worry about that. But just lay it in there. Press down with whatever tool you choose to use. Oh, there goes some of that paint because uh, I was using the scraper too hard. I'll have to go back and touch up with the black paint because I can see a little bit of the green coming through. No worries. Once I, you know, I'm wondering if I should just put a little bit of Mod Podge on it after I paint it just to seal it so it doesn't do that. I may just end up doing that. You know, I really don't use acrylic paints that much. I am by no means a paint expert. I'm not a mixed media expert. I wish I had that talent. Um, a lot of people are so good with using paints and all these different things and I just... I'm kind of traditional, I guess, and just use a lot of paper and embellishments. And I, you know, I use the inks around the edge, but I need to be better, I guess, and branch out and try new things. But yeah, I'm really going to have to go touch that up. Okay, we're almost done. We have one more side. fast forward this part because I'm doing the same thing that I'm doing on all the other ones. All right. And I'm just going to lay that in there. I push it all the way to the bottom. And I'm making sure it's down real good. So the inside is done. Ooh, that really bothers me, that green. Um, yeah, I'm going to use my acrylic paint, go over it, and I'll just put a thin coat of whatchamajigger, um, Mod Podge. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing on the outside. Uh, the measurements were the same, so I'm just, I've already put the black around the edges with my ink. I'm just going to kind of flatten that out. Make sure I have it on the corners. Center it. Oh. Okay. You know, it might be smarter to use this anyway to f uh, flatten it just so that I don't use anything sharp enough to 
scrape off some paint for right now. And that looks good. Oh, sorry if I was out of camera. Um, and I'll do the next three. So I'll just fast forward ahead so that you don't have to watch. You know how to do the gluing on the sides. <laughs> for the bottom of the box, the measurements for the paper, the inside bottom, I did 5 and 9 sixteenths by 5 and 9 sixteenths. Um, I was going to do uh, 5 eighths, but it was just a hair too big, so I ended up with 5 and 9 sixteenths. So you kind of, again, measure by, go by what your box size is. Um, I already put black ink around the edges. Um, on the inside, I need 4 at, again, I did a weird size, sorry, 5 and 1 sixteenth by 5 and 9 sixteenths, and I did 4 of those. And again, on the inside, it just needed to be a hair smaller than what I measured for the outside. So um, I painted my edges, and I'm going to do the bottom first. So I'll just stick glue on there and drop that in. And then I'll just make sure that I push down real hard to make it seal, especially on those edges. Um, I tried to clean out my lid for my glue, so let's hope that that works now. And so far, so good. There we go. Just going around the edges, about a eighth to a fourth of an inch from the border, because once you push down, it does squeeze out. All right. Okay, I'm getting frustrated. I think it's time for a new lid. I'll go soak it in hot water in a minute. I thought I'd take a shortcut and use a baby wipe, and that didn't really do the trick. Alright, I'm just going to drop that inside. And I'm going to get my little scraper. The scraper comes in different sizes. I usually use the smaller one, but... And you know, you could just make this box and use it as the box for the gift. Uh, I'm actually going to be making a mini album to put inside. But uh, yeah, you could just use it as a really cute gift box and they can use it to store things in afterwards. Alright, uh, the sides, like I said, I did four at five and one sixteenths by five and nine sixteenths. Already inked the edges. Uh, I'll glue one down and then I will finish the inside. After I do one, I'll skip to the outside, which <laughs> is no different really than the inside. Okay, just gonna kind of lay it sideways. I want mine to go all the way to the bottom. And really that's perfect measurement. And so once it's in there, I do have to make sure it's down real good. So I'm just taking my spatula and pushing down. Okay, I'll finish the inside and then I'll do the outside. Inside's done. Uh, it looks super cute. I love it when you open a box and it's decorated on the inside and not just a plain color. So that looks really good. Um, now on the outside, the paper that I selected is my favorite. It's that collage sheet. And so um, based off of the measurement of my box from the Dollar Tree, I needed four that were five and one sixteenths inch tall and then five and five eighths inches wide. Okay, five and a six by five and a, uh, five eighths. Went ahead and inked the edges. I'm also going to do the bottom, and the bottom piece measured five and five eighths by five and five eighths. Okay, so I uh, went ahead and got it as close to the edge as possible, and I'll glue that one on, and then I'll go ahead and do my sides. Once you put the sides on, I think, and put the lid on, it's going to be so cute. And then I'm going to probably, you know, once I put the hat on and embellish the hat, I'll. I'll probably add things to the side of my box too, um, just because I like to embellish. I like bling, I like lace, I like um, a 
ephemera, uh, excuse me, I can get that out, ephemera, I like it all. So I used to be kind of nervous about embellishing, and now I really, that's my favorite part now. I usually use a lot of flowers too. And it may be that, you know, um, with this acrylic paint, as it kind of scratches off easy, I may just be covering it with some sort of lace or trim. Okay, make sure my corner's down. All right, so the bottom's done, and now the sides. I'll do one side, and then I will fast forward till I'm done, and then I'll move on to the hat. So I think most of Authentique's paper does have a collage piece in it, and it's always my favorite. I think they do an awesome job with that. All right, so my paper's directional. Got to make sure I got it on. Perfect. Okay. And again, make sure you get it on real well. When I get to the corners, I'm just going to press down with my dry diaper wipe, wet wipe. Make sure I soak up any of the excess glue that comes out. All right, easy as that. Let's go ahead and finish. I moved on to the uh, birthday hat for on top of the box, and I forgot to do some filming. So I'm going to just show you what I did. Um, so remember, I had this party hat, and you can just make a cone by just folding paper, but I wanted to make sure that it was the right height and everything. So I opened the, um, I undid the hat. It was uh, latched right here, and I, I just undid it. And I went ahead, and I just took a pencil, and I just went around, oopsie. made this like my template and okay and so then once you have it traced I went ahead and cut it out but once I cut it out I ended up changing I didn't like the tab so let me cut this out real quick and show you gonna do this real quick and not I'm not trying to be super neat just because I've already made the hat and I'll show you in a second okay so once I had it cut and I started to form it I would need to cut a slit right here Okay, I would take my X-Acto knife and slit it, and then I would stick this, I would have to, sorry, I'm backtracking, make a slit here, make a slit there, and then slide it into that notch. To me, that was extra work for something I didn't need to do. So I ended up cutting off this thing, and now I just have the right size for the cone, and I'm just going to roll it until I get the shape that I want. I want to look at the top to make sure that I have as little of a hole up on top as possible. And then I just took my glue and put glue right here. And brought it over. And held it until it was dry okay and then I started my decorating I just made sure I had enough glue on there so it wouldn't come apart and then it was the perfect size so let me show you what I've done what I did to the hat now I'm kind of a craft hoarder so I had a lot of things already in my stash so um, I used the black paper with the white polka dots from the collection 
and I glued, I hot glue gun two different uh, trims that I had so that when it sits on the lid, let me show you. So when it sits on the lid, it kind of covers up more space. I added a little bit of flower, some flowers here on the bottom and then on the top to hide that uh, top piece, I just took some ribbon and a doily and made a topper. Okay. So I don't, I, that's all I, I don't want a number on it for a birthday number because I, you know, I'm going to use this for not just a specific birthday, but to hold a, a book. So I don't need to put a year on there, but you could put a number right there on the hat. You could put a number. I would use a sparkly paper or glitter paper or something or emboss something. So the hat is done. I just need to um, glue it to the uh, chipboard. I am going to go ahead and put a trim. I have some of this. I think I might put a trim. Let me move this around the box if I have enough. So that on the lid I have something a little bit more jazzy because this will be for an adult, the one I'm making, not for a kid. So I might, I might do that um, after I attach this. Um, also on my box I went ahead and backed some of the pennant stickers on black paper and cut them out and just glued that on my box. Um, I took one of the um, stickers and mounted it on black and I'll be putting that here. And I'm thinking that this box needs trim on the bottom also. But I'm trying to decide if I need a darker color or... So that's my next plan is to just start gluing things down to embellish. Um, and it's a super easy and super quick product, uh, project if you buy the box pre-made. So now I just need to glue some things down and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's all put together. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this project. You know, most of it is really embellishing because the box was pre-made and it's been a piece of cake um, and fast. So I went ahead and put that picture on. Like I said, I found a little um, resin bow that I just attached to the corner. I did go ahead and put some bead trim uh, around the bottom. And so now all I need to do... Well, not all I need to do, but um, on the hat, I went back and put on some uh, darker colored pink to tie in the paper better. And so now I just need to attach the hat to the lid. And I'm thinking I'm just going to go with a glue gun around the edge here and make sure that it gets on the paper and a little bit on the ribbon. And this could be interesting. Let me make sure, I want to make sure I get enough on so it doesn't fall off. And I have to make sure I get it down in time and center it right. So here we go. Oh, come on. Blue gun, don't fail me now. push down feels pretty secure I might go around just in with my glue gun and just make sure oh, that's down see if there's any spots It's pretty good. All right, that was super fast and easy. So here's the lid. Um, let me see if I can get a. Um, if I put this on, you're not going to be able to see. I think that's cute. 
Um, let me move my camera, so close your eyes if you're going to get dizzy. <laughs> it, so sorry, that's not going to... Sorry, I'm in a gross basement. Alright, and that is what the final box looks like. I apologize for the gross surroundings you have to look at. Um, I will post still pictures. So if you have a pre-made box, you got yourself an easy um, project in probably 30 to 30 minutes to an hour. The paper's from C Country Craft Creations. Um, the uh, trim, I believe, not the uh, loopy trim, but the daisy trim was also. And so check out the store. I'm sure you'll find some things that you can't live without. <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.